morning and welcome to Hooked on Linux. Uh, today we're going to go have a look at uh, Stacer. I've never used this kind of stuff before. One of our viewers, um, English Shroop01, uh, suggested that I have a look at Stacer and that it might actually be something helpful after watching uh, the video What to Do When Linux is Slow. Um, that was a, I like that video. That was a good video. We solved we solved the problem and we got a lot of insights, a lot of a lot of replies, a lot of comments on that. It was awesome, and you guys helping each other out is good to see. Thank you. Anyway, let's have a look at Stacer. I'm going to um, going to go into the software manager, and I just typed it into the search bar here, and up it came Stacer. Stacer's here, and what it tells us about it is monitor your system your CPU memory disk in a graphical application app um, it says change and monitor your services summarizes basic system information and can show network download upload uh, speeds and totals um, like anything when I'm installing a new app I'm always checking for privacy security uh, does it communicate with a central system or does it stay local and dedicated on your hard drive and so we're gonna find this out um, nothing is nothing is real yet until we go in additional software will be installed some new fonts and uh, another another piece of software that I'm not uh, libq whatever Guess what? Cap locks. Here we go. There it is. There's Stacer. Congratulations. Here we go. What do we've got? This here clock. I don't know what that means. I don't know what anything means here. This is absolutely new to me. It says my CPU is running 34% says I'm using uh, 2.2 gigabytes of 31.3 gigabytes of memory and I've got 114.5 gigs remaining on my 227.7 gigabyte hard drive my download speed is at this my upload speed is at that that's all information that is good so it's monitoring my network connection uh, startup applications. I have no startup applications. This is something that you can set up in your Linux Mint uh, user settings and there's a whole playlist on uh, the Linux Mint uh, settings. So you can go down there and have a look and learn how to uh, well familiarize yourself with Linux Mint and in there you can set up apps that automatically start when your machine starts up this is the system cleaner it cleans package caches crash reports application logs application caches trash and uh, select also um i have no idea services click on services wow wow see i'm not a computer guy uh, half of this i don't even know what it means um so I don't, I'm not quite sure what these things are. Okay, what's the next one going to say to us? Processes. So these are all the processes that are running. Um, alternatively, you can go on your, I'm running, I'm running a thing called a system monitor. It's right here, monitor. And it shows you all your processes. Same, same. So this is all the same thing. And it's here tells you the user CPU usage the process that's it just the process all processes or just the processes that are running processes that are running it shows up here and resources file systems all that thing so the, all my resources that I'm seeing here we saw there okay Got that? The CPU, memory, uh, disk, 
network and so everything's here the file systems are there that's our disks um, processes are here under processes so it's not that you're getting to look at something completely new it's something that's already there in your system if you don't know what to do with it with it this information then it doesn't matter how you look at it uh, what's the next one here uninstaller so uninstaller is a uh, wow so if I want to get rid of some of these things you know there is something I want to get rid of and I think I'm going to use this tool to do it I uh, created a video a little while back about moving your favorites from Chrome to Chromium so now I want to get rid of Google Chrome Google Chrome I'm gonna install that uninstall that and while I'm at it I'm going to uninstall Firefox because I've been using Brave since months it's got to be months I did a whole video on is Brave any uh, safer than Firefox and it is um, I'm, I'm happy with what what Brave is delivering for me and so because of that I'm ready and I'm done with Firefox so I can uninstall them and I'm gonna uninstall these three just like that bang I'm just gonna ask for my I think I've typed it wrong <laughs> I did <laughs> Okay, and we're going to uninstall those two, so it's already come in handy. However, you can install that right from your. I'm gonna have to show it to you now. You can uninstall it right from here by going on internet, choosing whatever it is you wanted to. Uh, let's say I wanted to delete that, and I right mouse click it, and it'll say here uninstall, and it will do the same thing as what we have just done okay and uh so that's that's the uninstaller that's all right uh, this is resources uh, we can see this on their other tab as well and then here we have apt repository manager so all these apt repository managers it's all here in your software manager uh within the settings here See right here, it goes there and it says software sources and preferences and all that stuff. So that's all um, accessible on your computer. So this is a great package because it puts all of these things together in one convenient place to go and look and see how your system is performing. And hopefully this says preferences, settings, and there's settings. Hmm, so we can play around with the language, I don't care disks there's a whole bunch auto start space or no and so so after all that would i am i going to use this i might let me let me put it on my uh system and i don't understand how it uh, generates any kind of help i don't understand if it's going to help me solve any problems well i'm going to clean the cache report crash crash reports and see what happens there because that's the one that I'm least likely to miss okay there's no crash reports let's go back let's clean my trash uh, 73.1 gigabytes I'm gonna clean that package caches so I don't know what this means there's 10 package caches using 110.9 uh, megabytes can I see a detailed list okay so these are package files that are just sitting on my system that are not 
I'm not using them. I've downloaded these. I remember these now. These are all Debian files. And there's Stacer. See, I downloaded that package too. So if I clean these up, just just basically deleting them. I don't want to delete them. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with this cleaner at this point because I want more information. I want to know what that is. And there's no way for it to tell me. It doesn't even tell me where it's located. Um, what what the, what it's going to do with it? Where it came from? I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of these things. So let's have a look at the application logs. I'm freeing up some space. Not a lot of space. Really, it doesn't use a lot of space. 267 megs. So, I'm going to have to figure out what all this stuff is. I have no idea what this is. Application logs, application caches. Let's see what's in there. 29 application caches. Let's see what's in there. Cinnamon, Chromium. It's a Google Chrome. Yeah, I'm not using Google Chrome any, anymore, so that can go. So my understanding of what a cache is, is a storage place. It's like, you know, just a little place that we store stuff, data, information, that kind of stuff. And so when I'm looking at this, these are, these are pieces of software that have stored some information. How it uses it, uh, we don't know yet, don't know anything. So their Chromium has got the 612 megabytes. Uh, Cinnamon has collected 4.6. Um, there's GIMP. GIMP hasn't collected anything. That's why I like GIMP. <laughs> it doesn't care. Um, the calculator. 1.5 kilobytes. It remembers that's your history. It remembers your history, right? Things of that nature. So Google Chrome is going to get clean. We're going to wipe that out of there. What else is out here? Uh, Hypnotics has remembered a few things, like what I've watched. <laughs> uh, KD and Live. It's going to. Rem it remembers your settings. If you don't want to lose your settings, right? Um, because I'm sure. Um, like MPV, it remembers how you like to watch your videos, right? There's Mozilla that's still using some Mozilla stuff, uh, Mint install stuff, um, and that's what that's what all these caches are, right? So um, I can clear the I'm going to clear the cache for Google Chrome right there, and. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do with that. So that's what application cache, caches do. Um, the logs, crash reports, package caches. So this this one here is still the one that I'm still kind of iffy on, on. On removing those. Because I don't know where they came from. Don't know where they're going. So this was my first look at Stacer. And I'm going to use this piece of software for a few months and let you know if it has at all come in handy. If you're like me and you're just a simple computer user, then you're not going to get a whole lot out of Stacer because navigating your way through it with a basic understanding of it is the biggest challenge. I really don't know what these things are meaning and I am loath to delete, remove and clean stuff that I don't know where it's coming from. But I am also um, willing to give anything a shot and give it a try and see what's going to come out of it. So uh, I'm going to be putting this on the download for the next. Will the program continue to work in the system tray? So I was just going to close it down. And then it gives me this, this little box. I want to quit Stacer.
but do I want it to continue to work in the system tray? And this is my, this is part of the reason why uh, I enjoy Linux so much is because there's nothing running in the background. Basically, well, there is. There's got to be. Otherwise, the machine wouldn't work. But do I want to add more to it? And so right now on my system tray, I've got running in the background. Well, I got OSB, of course, because I'm recording this. It's called OSB, OBS. Oh, God. I work in the construction trades, so OSB is a is a is a is a it's wood. It's a structural board, um, and so it's called OSB. And so I get confused OBS and OSB. Never mind. So um, so down in 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 my tray, what's running in the background here is OBS, uh, Stacer. My Bluetooth is off. Uh, I got a couple of system reports updater I don't have a lot going on there anyway so I don't want this to go on either I want to quit it and I always quit I don't like things running in the background so it's gone so if you got anything out of this video give me give me a, a little little comment or something if you're using Stacer um, Give me some of the benefits of it. Like, what do you actually do with it? I mean, it's monitoring, yeah, and it's cleaning, okay. But what does it really do? Because it's just, to me, I just see it as a monitoring system. And if it's just going to monitor what I'm doing, I, I've already got that. But if it's going to, if it's going to, pop up and show me that hey you you could potentially be creating a conflict by doing this that or the other that's a piece of software that would have some value anyway it's been nice talking to you today thanks for watching uh, hooked on linux and we'll talk to you soon